you have any evidence that the Confederate government tortured anybody? I know the federal government tortures people. We will slavery is This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by ShireSociety.com. Do you, I mean, you, you sound like you're a supporter of the federal government to some extent. Is that true? I believe in America, yes. Well, I mean, uh, the federal government still enslaves people. If you're in favor of that, how can you be against this? It's I, ens it enslaves them through taxation is what I'm talking about. You know, if that's income what tax. you believe, perhaps, that's not necessarily what I believe. And if you're calling slavery by tax tax taxation the same as the African slave trade, I disagree with you there. It is different. It's not chattel slavery. No. It's wage slavery. Does that make sense? So yes, I do fundamentally believe in the American government. Do you have any evidence that the Confederate government tortured anybody? I know the federal government tortures people. I mean, well, slavery is terrible. It's terrible, isn't it? Um, but do you have any reason to believe that was sanctioned by the Confederate government? You know, I wasn't alive at that point. But I'm telling you what I feel about the federal, the federal flag and its history with me. Um, to what extent, um, I mean, I guess you could say, uh, the federal government must have burned down 10% of the towns in the South. Is that not enough? You have to burn their symbols too? I'm sorry? I mean, the, the federal government must have burned down 10% of the towns in the South during the war. Is that not enough for you? I think symbols are almost more important than actual physical buildings. I appreciate your transparency in answering all these questions. Thank I usually you. don't get this far. No problem. All right, thanks so much. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, I'm Jack Allen. Uh, can I ask you a question real quick? Okay, sorry. I'm trying to send uh, Someone just put that in there. I'm standing here with, who am I standing here with? My name is Don Ewing. Hi, Don. And you are here, uh, I take it, to support the Confederate flag yes. burning? Yes. Uh, your your uh, ally or friend of Patricia's? Yes, I am. Uh, we both moderate admin on the This Is SoCo Twitter account. I've been okay. on that for about three weeks, but uh, we've been friends, Twitter friends, chatting back and forth for uh, Eight months, nine months. It's been a while. To what extent is this event against slavery, and to what extent is it against secession? Um, in our conversations, I don't think secession has ever came up, especially not the word secession. But um, I, I feel this was, and to my knowledge, uh, worked with the posters, organized this. I've ordered the flag. I've never bought a Confederate flag in my life, so bucket list. Um, but as far as has to do with slavery or secession, it was supposed to be a, a unity meeting, more or less, just coming together. This is a very polarizing time. This is a very important day. I didn't, I didn't get the impression you were unifying anybody here today. I mean, uh, people, no, people didn't like it at everyone, all, just, in some uh, cases, anyway. Yes, yes. Uh, it's also more of a... Uh, not unity, but uh, camaraderie. There is a presence in Southern Colorado. Denver has their activists who are great. I know a few of them. A presence. What do you mean by a presence? Uh, I know that I know. I, I follow a fair few Denver activists on Twitter. I follow their news feed. Their their events. This is my first event. Uh, I co-hosted this with Patricia. Um, so this is my first event, diving in, trying to be a part of my local area. I really love the area. I, yeah. I've, I've lived in Colorado Springs for about four years now, five years now. So uh, I, I, would, I would be what you would call a New Hampshire secessionist. I favor independence for my state, and you're not necessarily objecting to that. Um, could you rephrase it? Well, I'm a, I'm, I would be considered a New Hampshire secessionist, and I, that I want independence for my state, New Hampshire. I don't want it to be part of the union, which tortures people. Oh, uh, can, uh, can, I, yeah, I didn't know. Uh, are, we, are we on opposite sides or not? No, not at all. No. I, I certainly am not for torture. I'm not for slavery at all. Uh, I honestly, this chat right now was the first I've heard the word secession since Texas threatened after Obama was elected. To be honest. Um, 
I'm not a scholar. I'm not well learned in this. I'm learning as I go. Yeah. Um, right now, the Black Lives Movement, uh, the Black Lives Matter movement, is kind of where I've been focusing, uh, focusing on my own privilege as a white male, cis heterosexual male. Um, so I'm. I will certainly look into this session, and I don't know much about New Hampshire at all, but I would gladly take a look at anything you had. Uh, I don't know much. Like I said, I am very much the novice in this. Well, I, I appreciate you answering my questions. Everybody's been real transparent with me on yep. both sides, and that's yep. good. Yep. And I so, uh, not always something I expect.